Hello friends. Welcome to my channel for medicos. I am here with one more interesting disease, Gorham Stout disease. Before starting, I will request you to subscribe, share and hit the bell icon for more such videos. Gorham Stout disease which is also known as vanishing bone disease, disappearing bone disease, massive osteolysis, phantom bone disease, and more than a half dozen other terms in the medical literature, is a rare bone disorder characterized by progressive bone loss and the overgrowth of lymphatic vessels. Etiology The exact cause of Gorham Stout disease is unknown. No environmental, immunological, or genetic risk factors have been identified. Most cases occur randomly for no known reason. Gorham Stout disease is a rare disease that is thought to be caused by an error in the development of the lymphatic system. In individuals with Gorham Stout disease, bones become infiltrated with lymphatic vessels and are broken down and replaced by a fibrous band of connective tissue. The symptoms of Gorham Stout disease depend upon the specific bones involved. The ribs, spine, pelvis, skull, collarbone, and jaw are the most commonly affect bones in Gorham Stout disease. Trauma is often a trigger of the initial presentation of the disease. Bones affected by Gorham Stout disease are prone to pathological fractures. When Gorham Stout disease affects the maxillofacial area, pain, loose teeth, fractures and facial deformity may develop. Involvement of the spine or skull base can be associated with neurological complications such as chronic or acute pain or paralysis or meningitis. Involvement of the thoracic cage can lead to chylothorax. Chylothorax can eventually progress to cause life-threatening respiratory complications. Chylocystitis can also occur in patients with Gorham Stout disease. Some individuals with Gorham Stout disease may develop pericardial effusion. Diagnosis There is no specific test or procedure that definitively diagnoses Gorham Stout disease, which is partly a diagnosis of exclusion. A diagnosis is made based upon identification of characteristic symptoms, a detailed patient history, a thorough clinical evaluation and a variety of specialized tests including biopsies and specialized imaging techniques. Treatment is usually directed toward the specific symptoms that are apparent in each individual. Surgery to remove the affect areas of bone has been performed to treat individuals with Gorham Stout disease. In some cases, a bone graft, which stimulates or augments the formation of new bone, may be used in conjunction with the surgical removal of affected bone. Radiation therapy, sometimes in conjunction with surgery, has also been used to treat individuals with Gorham Stout disease. Some individuals with Gorham Stout disease have been treated with medications that inhibit bone resorption, bisphosphonates, such as pamidronate or zoledronic acid. Some individuals have also been treated with interferon alpha-2b, which inhibits the formation of blood and lymphatic vessels. These treatments have led to the improvement of symptoms, but individual response is highly variable. In some cases, bisphosphates and interferon alpha-2b have been used concurrently to treat affected individuals. Additional medications that promote bone regeneration and decrease bone metabolism that have been used to treat individuals with Gorham Stout disease include vitamin D, cisplatin, bleomycin, magnesium, estrogen, fluoride, calcium, and the hormone calcitonin. The effectiveness of such therapies is highly variable and inconsistent. Serolimus is a novel therapy increasingly being used to treat Gorham Stout disease. However, clinical trials involving larger numbers of patients are required to determine the effective dose, duration of treatment, and effectiveness of such a therapy for Gorham Stout disease. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe.